Hey, I'm Nicola, I come from Senegalia in, in Italy. Uh, my name is Leandro Seidel and I am from Vienna in Austria. My name is Louis Bouteau and I come from La Rochelle, the best city in France. I'm Marta and I came from Venice in Italy. Yeah, the reason I chose Finland was basically that the alternative would have been to stay at home and I really wanted to do an exchange semester before I graduate and that's why I just decided to do this adventure in a country that I didn't really know much about before. Uh, I actually didn't really know much about Finland, uh, just that of course Helsinki was the capital of Finland, that uh, Finland was um, one of the okay, Scandinavian countries, of course. Obviously I knew that the education system had a very good reputation and in general like the Nordic states have this great reputation in infrastructure and uh, social services. Uh, apart from that I didn't know that much about Finland. Yeah, I would say that the Finnish people are like, like the legend, They're very close and cold. I would say yes and no. Uh, I think that Finnish people are really weird, really the weirdest people that I ever met. Um, because of their relation with alcohol, for example. They have really a big problem with alcohol. They drink in beers for breakfast, so it's, it was really weird for me. But now that is a, a good weather and warm weather, I would say that the park are the really best part of Helsinki. I uh, went to uh, that beach in, uh, near to Kampi, a place in, uh, in Helsinki, and I really loved this place because like, you, just, you can chill and you can just see the, the sea. And also there is a cable park for wakeboard, so just a place uh, to wakeboard and everything, and it's a really nice place as well. Another really nice place is um, uh, Caivo Puisto. Uh, that is uh, a big park near the harbor, and which actually I am. And it's really green and really big and really quiet. So I like to, to be in the, in the chaotic esplanade and then to walk until Cabo Pristo because it's really peaceful. Well, the best thing to live in Finland, I think, is a very reliable infrastructure, as in the buses go reliably, there is a good level of safety, you never have to fear for your personal safety, for your personal health or anything when you're on the streets of Finland, no matter what time. And the same thing, I think the infrastructure is also what applies to the studying because the, there is always a good set of fast computers, decent learning atmosphere, all of that I think is quite important and that's really good about Finland. Uh, as I said, I think that the, the most memorable, most memorable moment is uh, during the, the travels. So my favorite one was uh, St. Petersburg, the um, cruise to St. Petersburg. Yeah, personally I really enjoyed the trip to St. Petersburg because I like going to uh, big cities. Urban chaos is something I really enjoy and St. Petersburg is one of the most urban and chaotic cities I've ever seen. So that's, that was one trip that I really enjoyed. And of course, the nature in Lapland also will stay in my memories for a few more years. Uh, also, I went in Lapland uh, during February, so it was really wonderful experience. Like as you can imagine, like with Santa Claus and everything, uh, we made like some snowmobile and snowmobiling uh, during the night. Uh, really, really wonderful experience. Uh, yeah, I will remember it all all my life. I went in Norway in. Karajok on, on March after the exam and I was lucky and I saw the Northern Lights in a, in a really beautiful hills in the hood with a super sky and it was a really really magic moment and you cannot you, you cannot uh, explain how you can feel until you can you can live this kind of moments it's really wonderful it's a way to grow up a way to know yourself better and a way to uh, create a, a network of, of people from all over Europe and if you are lucky also from all over the world and I think that in life creating like networks and meeting people it's one of the best things that we can do. Erasmus is uh, a wonderful experience. Uh, every kind of people uh, should 
uh, go in an Erasmus program, uh, whatever the destination, whatever the people, and just don't be afraid, just uh, just go, run to it. Uh. Sure, sure, sure. You must do Erasmus, you must do what you want, you must do, you must go everywhere. And especially if you can go alone without any friends, you don't have to follow the friends if they choose another kind of, of place or, and it's different from yours. I chose Finland before giving the priority to my taste and to my feeling and then to this uh, important to the studying and, and whatever. But if you feel to go and you, you must go, yeah, no restriction. I think that the advice is just apply for it, book your flight and go because it's for sure you will not be disappointed from this experience. Don't be afraid about a new experience in your student life because Erasmus uh, will give you more than you can expect.